Hey, it's Kurt Thompson here. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the strategies and the way to use the sizzle rim. And it doesn't matter whether you play on this big guy. Or if you play high notes on this guy. The sizzle rim is definitely going to help you out. What you're going to be surprised to find out is I've actually developed the sizzle rim for all of the brass instruments. So we have a sizzle rim freshly cut and made in Texas for French horn. And it comes in a box like this. Of course, I'll have more cushion. Uh, it looks like that for French horn. And it, it'll come in this hard protective wood box and there'll actually be some cushion in there. These are brand new, freshly made. And if I pull it out, this is the French horn rim. And I'm gonna go over these. The strategy is gonna be the same for all of them. So that's the French horn sizzle rim. Next in the lineup, of course, would be the trumpet sizzle rim. You've already seen this one because I've had it going for a while, about a month or so, maybe a month and a half. That's the trumpet one. New to the game, along with the French horn, is the trombone sizzle rim and euphonium. So this came off a of 12C, um, and I have a couple of mix, it's a mixed bag between 12C and a 6C, which accommodate just about all euphonium and trombone players. That's uh, for trombone and euphonium. And then the one that I think is the most amazing is tuba. Yeah, so this tuba is, I believe, off an 18 um, Bach prototype, which is a very standard rim for tuba. Or if you're um, a euphonium that plays on an extra large mouthpiece or a bass bone, I mean, this could also be right up your alley. Okay, so we've gone through the rim now for all the brasses you might be wondering well what am i supposed to do with that rim why would i want to get one why would i want to start working on it what i would say to you is anything that can even make you a couple percent better and more efficient improve your tone help you become more flexible gain endurance and even strengthen your chops even if it's just a couple percent points you got to do it um, because we need every advantage playing brass instruments. It's not like piano where you can be tired and have had no sleep and you just plunk your hands down and all the notes are right there. That's not how a brass instrument uh, playing works and I believe that you guys know that. So we need, need every advantage in our court and the sizzle rim and rim buzzing is just one. It's, it's a new one for a lot of people. It's relatively new to me. I've been doing it for about 18 months um, with considerable success. And what benefits? Have I enjoyed? I've enjoyed a an improved sound, a bigger sound. Um, I believe I'm a lot more efficient now because I'm getting the vibration to happen all across the lips rather than just pinched on one side or just pinched in the middle. The vibration is going all the way across. And yes, it actually has helped my range. It's helped the notes that were squeaky before become real notes. So these are the benefits that I've enjoyed along with some other students of mine that I've been introducing it to. You can enjoy the same benefits. Um, there's just no question. Uh, let's put it this way. You will not get worse by getting the sizzle room and working on it. You will not get worse. You will not stay the same as you are right now. You will only improve. Whether it's all the areas I just mentioned or just one, you will have some improvement. How does this improvement happen? It happens because you're vibrating all of the surface of the lips. And you can see that vibration when you when you um, put the sizzle room up. Let's see if you can, I can get the light on it. So the sizzle rim does not have the luxury of but of of a of a cup that you would normally get when you're buzzing a mouthpiece. That actually is a crutch. That actually helps you out. Sizzle rim is harder buzzing than buzzing the mouthpiece by itself, and you get more of a benefit. The, when your lips fall into the cup, you're actually getting a little bit of benefit now, more for French horn and trumpet players, uh, but even for trombone and tuba. So 
uh, by having the sizzle rim, you have free clearance here for the air to move out. It's just going out. There's no resistance. And it's a different feeling and a different impact on your chops and your lips rather than just buzzing into the mouthpiece. Now, the sizzle rim, I would say, comes after lip buzzing. If you were to take lip buzzing I, and rank it, I would say it's the hardest. Uh, what is harder than lip, free lip buzzing? Nothing. Nothing's harder than free lip buzzing. I would say it's uh, free lip buzzing is the hardest thing that we can do in regards to brass playing. Next would become the sizzle rim. Uh, that's the second hardest. And third, I would actually say lead pipe buzzing, which is I'm, I'm going to be developing that for the low brasses. I already have it going now for, for trumpet. And you, you will be seeing that coming soon on my website. I'm even, in, I'm even in the process of developing a lead pipe, an isolated lead pipe, so you don't have to constantly disassemble your instrument to be able to enjoy the benefits of lead pipe buzzing. Finally, after that comes uh, mouthpiece buzzing. And then the last part, of course, just playing your horn. That's the easiest of all these. That's how I rank them. Um, so let's talk about the strategy for rim buzzing. And as most of you know, I primarily play trumpet. But that doesn't mean I can't get down and dirty on all brass instruments. I mean, if I really wanted to, I just don't, I don't put a lot of time into playing tuba or French horn uh, or, bar or baritone, euphonium, uh, tremolo. I just don't put a lot of time into that. But I mean, I can still play it. It's just not, not the best. That's a decently loud, big, rounded, warm, dark, um, low B flat right below the staff. Okay, you know I don't play tuba all the time a day. I can get on tuba and jam a little bit if I want to. I can uh, play some low notes, I can get up in the upper range where most tuba players cannot. Should I try to go up to the one above? I bet most of you cannot do that who play tuba, okay? So, I do play tuba, I play all the brass instruments, and even more so than playing all the brass instruments, I teach all the brass instruments, and that gives me the authority to teach you, no matter what brass instrument you play, I'm sure I have the right path and course for you to take when it comes to brass instrument playing. Let's get back to the topic of rim buzzing. So. Um, its versatility. Now the other thing is I've um, thought of something and I've been kind of messing around with this lately since I've had the, these other instruments and I've noticed an even bigger benefit from using all of them. And so I'm going to be selling on my website the ability to get all sizzle rooms. It's going to come in a box like this. Let's see if I can show this without them falling out. You see them there? You got the tuba, the euphonium baritone, the trumpet, uh, cornet, and the French horn. All brass folks. I'm going to sell the whole shebang like this. Because if you think about it, no matter what instrument you play, if you play tuba, yeah, you're, if you get the whole combo, you're going to buzz on this every day. But what about um, twice a week, you just hit it a minute or two on trumpet? How about twice a week, you hit a little bit on bone? How about if you're a tuba player, maybe, tuba player maybe once a week you hit the French horn. What's going to happen is you're going to cause um, a catalyst of growth. This is the catalyst and it's going to cause more growth because you're making the muscles work at quirky and wacky angles that you're not used to on your main instrument. So you're going to do this if you're a tuba player you would do this every day in your routine and you would just sprinkle in these other rims and I've already been doing that. I've noticed a solid strength increase in my chops. It just feels solid. I got better endurance and it's just from messing around with these um, sprinkling these other rims, you know, I normally play on trumpet. So I'm sprinkling in the tuba, the phoneme and the French horn. 
So uh, this is going to be available too for you guys that are more of a go-getter, that you're really wanting the biggest bang for your buck and for input and work and practice, you're going to get the most output and results if you get the combo. And the process is the same. You're, everything you saw in this tutorial, you will apply to this, uh, but on a staggered basis. You're, let me repeat it one more time. Your main instrument, whether it's French horn or tuba or trumpet or bone, you'll do that every day with the rim. And you'll sprinkle in the other ones. You'll kind of divvy them up, kind of stagger them throughout the week. You're going to get even more results uh, by getting the whole combo package. It's, and it'll come in something like this with a nice cushion, a nice, nice protective case. It'll be shipped. It, it'll be all protected. And it'll be a good way for you to keep your collection of rims. And an um, easy way to transport them, too. You can put them in your briefcase, your backpack, or whatever if you have to take it to work or school. So um, this is great for students too. If you're in college or high school, you can have this in your backpack and on your lunch break, you can be out walking around outside and working on some of your practice when you're not able to access your horn. So whether you play on um, trumpet, whether you play on trombone or, or tuba, in fact, um, I gotta get this up. I'm having a little fun. I'm getting going on tuba again. It's not my main instrument. Um, I have taught a lot of tuba. But I want to get more tuba players involved. Um, tuba. I'm having a little fun with that. And trombone, yes, I can baritone all the way up to this guy. It's a brass instrument. You got to build your chops. And if you're watching this, you're smart. That means you got the sizzle rim. And I wish you all the success in the world on working with the sizzle rim and developing your chops. I'm Kurt Thompson. And I will see you in the next one, my friends. I may not have a tie, but I'll still see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>